Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Droidemon 1996 and today is another tutorial in Cinema 4D and this is the image we will be creating. It is a neon light looking image. As you can see, the corners, this section isn't high, um, uh, isn't red, but because of the reflection or of the uh, shine, it looks like it is, but don't worry. But anyways, um, uh, this is a neon light text. Most of the time you would have to find templates or, or have to find someone else's template, or you'll have to use a plugin. I use absolutely no plugins, no templates. This was all done in Cinema 4D by me with the regular, you know, just using the regular editor. So here's the project itself. As you can see, there's only two things in it. Of course, just the floor and the name itself. But anyways, let's go ahead and start. New. So what we're going to go ahead and start off is, of course, by... Let's first do a render settings. As usual, the 1280 by 720 D by 720. And we're going to put our effects in a little bit later. So right now, uh, to make sure everything looks good, let's go ahead and put in our floor. Bang, bada boom, floor's there. Now well, let's go ahead and go to MoGraph, come down here to MoTeX, and now we have the text. I'm going to go ahead and change a line from left to middle because it's just a little better. And I'm going to go ahead and change the text and put... E on. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and change the font to make, of course, the thing look a little better. I forgot what the font was, so give me a second. This one. It was really. It was really no, yeah, I think it was that one. Yeah. Oh. And now what we're going to do is come up here to caps, go from start. Go down here to fill it caps. Same thing on the bottom, fill it caps. You can keep the steps and radius the exact same. It doesn't need to change at all. And so far, that we're pretty much almost done with the uh, image itself. Let's go ahead and just bring the letter just above. About right there. Okay. Go and make sure all of it's above. Yes, all of it is above. Now, what we're going to do uh, from this point, click on Motex and we're going to hit C on your keyboard, which makes each and every. Ooh, 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 grab the whole thing at once. I'll just. Oh, did I do it right? Yes. Now, it just made each and every letter editable by itself. So, as you can see, I can rotate the E a billion, whatever. Without messing up the N or any other letters, as you can see, you shoo Okay, let me go ahead and go back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is come over here to the number one, and you're gonna see the thing, or, um, the null neon. We're gonna click on that and bring that down. We'll come up here to the Motex null and delete it, and we're gonna go to the neon null and here comes the part where we put in the color of course you can use any normal color whatever you want and the reason why I put the caps in is because without the caps we wouldn't be able to have any room to put the neon or to put the uh, yeah neon light or the luminance light so what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, click on the I think it's called what's it called extrude yeah there the extrude nerve uh, letter and hit C on your keyboard again on the letter and now we've made the letter itself editable by its you know, I don't, uh, by its I think not boundaries but dimensions or properties by its properties there we go by its properties so now what we're gonna do come on we come down here to polygon tool we come up here to selection, go to loop selection, and we're just going to select 
make sure to get like this. Let me zoom in a little so you can see. Get like this little tick mark right here and you'll be able to get the whole thing. Just click on it. I'm going to go ahead and make a brand new material by double clicking on the material section. Double clicking on uh, the material itself into the material editor. We're going to click luminance and we're going to bring First we're going to make a purple, yeah, let's do that. We'll make a nice purple, we'll just bring the green down with the blue and white, or blue and red all the way up. And let's go ahead and close out on that. Now we're going to right click on that material and hit apply. And we're going to do the exact same thing to the back. Let's go ahead go ahead and go to the back and right click on that hit apply and you just do that to each and every of uh, other one E press C uh, click on E press C you get rounding one crap there you go and what now we're going to do is just duplicate the the purple luminance by holding control and bring and clicking and dragging right over. And we're going to make this one, let's see, green, there we go, that's good green. Let's go and wait for that to load up. And also inside of the E, whatever font you've seen me use. Go and get right inside the E2. Oops. Don't forget to hold shift when you get the inside the E. Hold shift, then click. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply. And now it's on that. And the reason why we're also putting the color on the back is that when we render out, the color isn't just on the front, it's also on the back, and you can see it good on the back. Um, so we can also you know see that it's a uh, it's like a full it's like a full uh, the effects all around the uh, how is it the effect is the effect is all around the letter so hit apply on the back exact same thing and you know use any kind of color I'm just using these colors because it's really cool to use them see your keyboard yet again Click, hold shift, bring right over. We're gonna make this one a blue. Take you all the way down, bring you all the way up. You know what? We can make it a light blue. Yeah, it looks pretty cool with the light blue. And you know, if you want, you can also just do like right out here as you can see. Like this one. You can just choose right on the outside, right on the ring. So, let's see, and we'll see what the effect on the L looks like a little bit later. So we don't want to like overdo it with the uh, thing, because if we like do this same color, same color, it's gonna overdo it a little, and we still want s some of the. You know, I don't think no, it's not the same exact font but it'll be okay actually looking at this again this reminds me of like a little playland thing like a, I don't know so now I'm gonna go ahead and just take out that you don't really need to put that stuff for the O just if you did follow me doing all that just keep hitting control Z until you get all the way back to right before we did that and let's go and make Material apply. Pretty much the exact same thing on the other side. Ah crap. Did that again. Okay. Just you know, I got I'm I'm focused right now, so I might not be talking too much.
And then this one, we're just going to make it a nice, good yellow. Yep, yellow. And if you want, you can make darker le or colors, bring more of a character feel to the, give more character to the text. You know, do whatever you want. This is just me playing around, finally learning how to do this. I really, I was really excited when I found how to do this. I really did like it. Okay, so now since we got in the entire word neon lit up like a neon sign, let's go ahead and zoom out, rotate a bit. And now we got the word neon looking looking pretty cool. And I will, let's go and see if we have a render no, we don't have a render setting, so let's go ahead and create our render settings. I'm gonna come over here down to effect, of course, ambient occlusion. Hit click effect one more time, global illumination. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it samples to medium, the recording density to medium, because we're gonna want a lot of good detail in this picture. It's really cool. So, come up here to render. And click it. <sighs> and for me to just go ahead and be talking for a little while, so it's thinking and dry out. Um, I know in most a lot of my recent videos, I haven't been able to put the right thumbnail on, so it just looks like it's a little boring and everything. I honestly don't know how to put a or upload a thumbnail for the video itself. So if you guys can, you know, maybe send me a video of how to do it or just tell me through an email or send me a message through YouTube um, and stuff like that and also I'm sorry guys if like I say I'm gonna put some uh, if I say I'm gonna put a link in the description below and I don't don't forget I work I'm at, I do my com work on my com laptop but I don't have internet access to laptop itself so I have to go to the public library and try to upload it. and by then I might have already forgotten what I was if I was gonna um, put a link I would have forgotten about it because I only have like half an hour to use the computer up there so as you can see oh, I did that I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I really didn't mean to first that would be good to go ahead and put the Z back the Z axis back on but no that's just that I um, I might forget to put in a link I'm sorry guys, but uh, I'll try harder next time. I also have a few other things I'm getting, er, preparing to do. Me and my friends are going to be shooting some videos over the next few weeks, so I might not be able to do any tutorials until maybe late July or early August. And of course today is June 19th, 2012. It is 12.30, 12.40 in the morning. I am almost done with this. I I was actually at a cousin's house until like 10. And then when we got back, it was like, it was actually like 12, it was just after 12 here. It was just after 12. And I got on the computer and I was thinking, how am I going to make a neon sign? Really? Because I remember seeing a template earlier today while I was on YouTube. And, uh. It was the neon sign. It was like a neon uh, text. I'm like, oh well, that's pretty cool. I'm like, well, why is there no tutorial? And I typed in, looked for, and I couldn't find really find one. So I'm like, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go ahead and make one. Uh, I do know that, of course, I really don't have that many viewers. So I mean, do try to share my videos on your YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever so I get a little more exposed so people can actually know who I am so anyways as you can see on the floor the light is shining onto the floor both on the front and back it looks very cool and I really hope this uh, I really hope you guys like this tutorial I sure as anything really loved it I really love figuring out how to do this after I figured it out, my mom came in and I'm like, oh, look at what I did. She's like, wow, that's really cool. Um, and she, she, my mom really likes when I do this stuff. My dad does too. So does a lot of other people I um, know. Who, um, 
who've seen my work, they really like it. So hopefully you guys really like this tutorial. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and or random videos I will just post off the top of my head. And without further ado, goodbye.